Hello. Here we will learn how to do Shannon Wiener diversity calculations based on total counts and percent cover. Now, if you were to ask anybody how diversity is defined, they would most likely tell you it's the number of species you might see in a community. Number of species, also known as species richness, however, is not a really good measure of diversity. Here we see two plant communities that have the same richness, the same number of species. But look at them carefully. Are they really the same? Hopefully you see that community one is in fact more diverse than community two. Community two is dominated by one species in particular. So even though both communities have the same richness, they do not have the same evenness or relative abundance of species. Community one is more even, and thus it is likely more diverse. Here is the equation for calculating the Shannon Wiener index. The value for diversity is represented by the letter H. H equals minus the sum of the proportion of species I times the natural log of the proportion of species I. Here, I represents each species found in the community, and S represents the total number of species in the community. So, to determine the diversity value for a community, you need to know the number of species as well as the proportion of each species. Proportions of species can be determined from total biomass, counts of each species, or the percent cover of each species. For biomass, if you know the biomass of one species, you can take that over the total biomass of that community to come up with the proportion for that species. Similarly, for counts, if you know how many of that species there are over the total number of individuals in that community, you can get a proportion based on counts. Percent cover is a little easier because percents are essentially proportions themselves. Let's do a diversity calculation based on counts. In community one, you can see that there are 16 total individuals. There is also four different species. In this community, there happens to be four individuals of each species. So, for the proportion of each species, it's simply the number of individuals of that species, four, over the total number of individuals, 16, or 25%, 0. 0.25. Here we have a highly even community. All species are equal in abundance. All four species have proportions of 0. 0.25. So to do the calculation for diversity, you will have to enter the proportions of each species into this equation. PI represents the portion. So 0.25 times the natural log of 0.25 for species one, and repeat again for all the other species. If you sum this up, you will get negative 1.39. Change the sign of that to get a positive value for diversity and the diversity for this plot is 1.39. Let's do this again for community two. Again, we have 16 individuals. However, the number of individuals per species is a little bit different. For the first species, there is one individual out of 16. So one over 16 is equivalent to the proportion of 0.06. For the second species, there are two individuals out of 16. So two over 16 is equivalent to the proportion of 0.12. For species three, there are 11 individuals out of 16. 11 over 16 is equivalent to the proportion of 0.7. And lastly, for species four, there are two individuals out of 16. Once again, two over 16 equals 0.12. Based on total counts, we now have the proportions for every individual species.
we plug these proportions into the equation and we calculate an index of 1.06. Let's compare our communities based on the values we calculated. For community one, we calculated an index of 1.39. For community two, we calculated an index of 1.06. Based on these values, we can see that community one has higher diversity than community two. So again, to emphasize, although both communities have the same number of species, the same species richness, they were actually different in diversity because community one has more evenness. Let's do an example of a calculation of diversity based on percent cover. Many plant ecologists use quadrat sampling to estimate plant community diversity. They place a quadrat on the ground and by eye estimate the percentage of cover of each species. Now this might seem tricky. How do you come up with numbers for each percentage? A trick I like to do is to divide the quadrat into four quarters or 25 percentiles in my mind. Here is the quadrat divided in half. Here it is divided in quarters. Now if a species fills one of these squares, then you can say it has 25% cover. If it fills two, then it's 50%. If it fills half a square, then you would say it's 12.5%. Percent cover is a little subjective. So if you're doing a study where you're comparing sites, it's best that the same person is coming up with the values at each site. Each person might have their own bias in terms of what percent coverage looks like. When I do this work in the field, often I'm in a group and we will come to a group consensus on what the values are. So let's estimate percent cover for the species here. A quick look and I recognize five different species. One species that fills up one half to the left, and another grassy species that fills up most of what's up on the right. Here we have a third species, which is also found here. Here's a fourth species, and here's a fifth species. So we can assign the first species that fills the two squares on the left about 50% cover. The grassy species, we can say it covers about 35% because it fills up one quarter plus a little more. The third species found in this oval, we can estimate to be about 10%. The fourth, about 3%. And the last one, about 2%. As I mentioned before, percent cover is nice to use because percentages are already proportions. Here we have the proportions of all five species observed in the quadrat. You'll notice that all five species, when their proportions are added together, it equals one. This makes sense because the plants covered 100% of the plot. Now we can take these proportions and plug them into the Shannon Wiener diversity equation. Make sure you have every species represented. A little plug and chug and the diversity calculation results in a 1.049 index value for this plot. So what do you do if the plants in the community don't occupy the whole space? In other words, you don't have 100% coverage. Well, you still want to estimate the percent cover of each species. Here, we see four different species. First, a grass, which covers about 25% of the plot. Next, an herb, which covers about 10%. A third species, which is only found in one spot, covering 1%. And a fourth species, which also covers 1%. Now again, this does not cover the whole plot. If you were to add up these percentages together, only 37% of the plot is covered. 
Now this makes sense because it looks like a lot of the plot is uncovered, roughly 63%. These percentages, however, do not actually represent the proportion of the individuals in the community inside this quadrat. We will have to adjust those values. The way we adjust those values is taking the percentages of each individual over the total percentage of ground covered. So for species one, which covered 25%, if you take that 25 over the 37% that was total coverage, we now have a proportion of 0.67. You can do this for species two, three, and four, each calculating its own proportion. Again here, the denominator is 37 because there was 37% cover of plants in the quadrat. You know you've calculated the, por the proportions correctly when they sum up to 100, or 1.0. When you have the correct proportions, you can now enter them into the equation to do the calculation. Here we see that the diversity of this plot, even though the ground was bare in most of it, was 0.83. It's important to note here that bare ground does not mean a decrease in diversity. You can have a lot of bare ground, but if you have a lot of species and they're evenly distributed, the diversity can still be high. The diversity we calculated here is low because two of the species that we found had very little cover. The proportions were not very even. This concludes our discussion about how to calculate the Shannon Wiener Diversity Index. Thanks.